Yeah, how's it going? Uh, my name is Brandon Souders. I, uh, I work in the tech industry, in the entertainment tech industry. I am the um, uh, level design director um, for id Software. So we make big uh, AAA video games for um, uh, like Xbox and PlayStation and PC and all that. So uh, we make uh, um, big budget games. And uh, yeah, I kind of run the design department for our studio. Awesome. So, uh, what is your favorite part about working at ID? Um, I think my favorite work part about working at ID is just that um, uh, I get to work with a big team. There's lots of people involved. Um, uh, it's fun to kind of get to do that together with everybody. Um, be creative um, as a big group. Um, you know, work together to make decisions and things like that. So, uh, I enjoy working with people. Um, I enjoy kind of the back and forth. And so, um, you know, I just, I enjoy that creative kind of atmosphere more so than, you know, um, uh, than doing something on my own, being a solo artist or something like that. So uh, that's what I yeah. like. All right. So uh, how flexible is your schedule? My schedule is pretty flexible. Um, I do work at the office um, every day now. Of course, we had two years of COVID, right? So we worked at home uh, for for that whole time. But uh, we've switched back this year, and so now we work uh, we work in the office. So um, with that being said, I have um, uh, you know a decent amount of vacation time and sick time and stuff like that, so I can all take off. Um, the cool thing I think about our schedule is that. Um, we work, we have a concept of core hours. So that means you work from 10 to five. Everybody works from 10 to five or is in the office from 10 to five. And then the other two hours of the work day, you either make up afterwards, um, or in the morning. So some guys work eight to five for us and some guys work 10 to seven. And, uh, for myself, I work, uh, I tend to work more 10 to seven. Um, so, uh, keeps me out of having to sit in tra rush hour traffic on the way home. <laughs> Yeah. Um, do you like working from home or in the office more? Um, I like a little bit of both. Um, I like I like working from home when it's individual work. So when it's something that I can just do on my own, it's just an individual task or something I can knock out on my own. I like to kind of do that execution kind of work um, from the house and the comfort of my own office and, and all that. Um, but when we collaborate, you know, so we've got a bunch of people um, that work on these projects. So it, it is much better for collaboration for everyone to be in the office. Um, and so uh, certainly we work faster that way. Uh, we have more, um, you know, just kind of uh, we get a better bucket of ideas, I guess, you know, um, because the, the creative vibe is there. So, um, yeah, it's really cool. And uh, uh, I like it a lot. Awesome. So uh, how much pressure are you put under at your job? Um, I would say we have a decent amount of pressure. Um, we, um, you know, we have to, we have to make money, you know, so we have to have make sales. And in order to do that, we have to make um, good games. And, uh, um, you know, the, the publishers that, that publish our game, I mean, we're, we're spending, you know, over a hundred million dollars for like per project on our stuff, you know, so, um, you know, a, uh, a small mess up can lead to a pretty big financial problem. So, yeah, uh, yeah there's a lot of pressure there. Um, but we kind of know that it comes with the territory. So, um, we, we, we all keep that in mind. It's certainly a driving factor for us meeting deadlines and things like that. You know, uh, we know that we have to fit things in a certain time and um, we have to make decisions based around that um, because we don't want to we don't want to go over and cost our publishers more money and then, then decide that they don't want to work with us. Yeah. Yeah. Anymore. So you want to we want to keep our jobs. We have to make good games that are fun. So. Yeah. So um, what do you enjoy most about uh, what you do, level design? Um, I think what I like the most about um, level design is just that we're kind of in the middle of the process. Um, so you know, we have artists and designers and, and, and other departments that, that all contribute. Um, 
they all make important parts of the game, but on the design department is kind of where we get all those pieces and bring them together and sew them all up and like actually make it something that you can actually play. So um, that's why I have always liked level design is because we're kind of right in the middle of the action and uh, you get to have kind of a, a big overview um, of the of the whole project. So not sitting off in some little corner making some little piece of R or coding on your own kind of um uh getting to getting to be right in the middle of everything so that's that's the best part about design yeah uh what's your favorite uh level you've worked on uh man uh i think that my favorite level that i've worked on is um bar's core for doom eternal that was um that's a good one that was a really hard one uh just you know we didn't know uh how we were going to make it and uh you know my boss was like he just told me he was like i want to play a level where you get in a big gun and you shoot mars and you blow it up and then you jump down inside of it and uh i was kind of like well i don't know how i'm going to do that but we'll figure it out and so um but i really like that one because i we you know we had to develop new tech to even be able to to do that one so i got to kind of drive the ship on that and so that was kind of fun to kind of um get to have influence on that side of it so um yeah, it took me over a year to make that, you know, and uh, that's working on it like every day. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's probably my pride and joy. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, do you have any advice for people interested in taking a tech based job? Yeah, I think uh, uh, anybody that wants a tech based job needs to be like practicing that stuff on their own. So um, they need to be kind of. Um, developing a portfolio, developing skills on their own, like outside of just, you know, education and things like that. Um, because, you know, for tech-based jobs, like if you're just gonna kind of do it because you just need a job, um, it's not really gonna work out because they're, they're, they're jobs that are pretty, they're pretty complicated. They take a lot of focus, they take a lot of dedication and, um, you know, it's, it's not a job for everybody. So uh, you really need to prove uh, on your own that that, that that's what you want to do and um, uh, you know, work on building up a portfolio or a website or something like that that can really showcase your skills and uh, that's the best way to kind of get your foot in the door. All right so uh, one last question is uh, what kind of software do you guys use uh, for level designing? Yeah so we use a, a game engine. Um, ours is proprietary so it's it's just ours we don't let anybody else use it or we don't license it out or anything um our game engine is just called it tech and um it's it's software that's made specifically for putting a game together so um uh, we use that um and you know there's other there's other game engines that are available online so like unreal you can license out and, and make your own projects with um, and that's the tech that is used to make uh, Fortnite. I mean, a lot of games are, are made off of the Unreal uh, engine itself. But uh, and then outside of that, we do use other uh, uh, licensed programs that we actually buy licenses for ourselves. So, uh, you know, any photo editing stuff like uh, Photoshop or any of the Adobe suite, uh, we use all of those. Um, and we also use uh, 3D packages. So, um, 3ds max or maya or uh, I, I use a program called moto a lot that, that, that's what i do all of my um 3d modeling in and uh so it's a little bit of mix of like our own tech and then other stuff that we um uh kind of uh use from outside the studio but uh, uh we do a little bit in all of it and it all kind of goes in the same bucket so uh, yeah all right, that's great, Brandon. Thank you for uh, joining. Awesome, man. Yeah, thanks for uh, having me, dude. Of course.